Today I want to show you how I capture mini DV tapes in Final Cut Pro 10. So one of the first things I do is I connect the tape deck or camera, whatever you have. I'm using a deck right now. Um, I'm using a cord, a Belkin Firewire 800, 400, 9 pin to 4 pin cable. And as you see here, it comes in very, very handy when you are um, connecting the decks or all types of cameras, especially either DV or HDV. And guess people still shoot with tapes even today. So what I do after I connect the deck, I have a hard drive here. I'm going to capture the footage to that hard drive instead of my internal hard drive. Um, so let's create a new event. Um, but we're going to import from camera, and then we'll create the new event. So I'm going to hit import from camera, and it notices the Sony DV VCR, it calls it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rewind it a little bit to the beginning. All right, so let's stop, and let's rewind it. How about let's click that to rewind? How about that? That's the next frame. And once we rewind, rewind it, I'm going to... They didn't give me any post-roll, pre-roll on this, but we're going to hit play. We're going to hit import. And then as soon as I hit import, it asks me, add to this existing event. And I'm saying I'm going to create a new event, and I'm going to add it to this hard drive. It has a terabyte and some change free. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and create a new event. I'm going to call it uh, 2012 school talent show. Alrighty, I'm not going to create proxy media. That means it's going to give me a ProRes file. Um, I'm not going to analyze for for stabilization, rolling shutter, any of these things. And automatically Final Cut Pro 10 knows what, uh, this is shot on DV and TSC 16 by 9. It already knows to make it uh, that size. A lot of capturing in Final Cut Pro 7 and other programs uh, didn't you had to choose or know what you shot. A lot of people don't know that, uh, so it automatically does it. So I'm going to hit import, and once I hit import, there it is. So it's going to continue to import, and I can stop it any time, or I can close it, import it again, but I'm just going to let it import, and as it goes, it's, it's going to go ahead and import a file to uh, this hard drive right here. So that's how I import files in Final Cut Pro 10. Hope this helps you. If you have any other questions, you can just email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or hit us up on Twitter at at webvideochefs. Have a great day.